Even if you haven't been told to self-isolate in recent weeks, you probably know someone who has. So what's going on? Well, it's largely due to the rise in cases and the rollback of lockdown. There are now over 32,000 cases a day, and they're doubling every 11 days or so. The government expects them to reach 50,000 a day by July the 19th and 100,000 a day in August. Back of the envelope calculations suggest there could be at least 2 million cases over the summer. The third wave also means more of us are being identified as close contacts. That's people living in the same household, those who've been one metre face to face from an infected person for at least a minute or 15 minutes two metres away. Statistics from NHS Test and Trace reveal a sharp rise in people being told to isolate since indoor mixing was allowed in mid-May, reaching almost 184,000 people in England in the week to June the 23rd. But contacts are also identified through the COVID-19 app, which has been downloaded by nearly 26 million people. The number of people being pinged because they've been in close contact with a positive case has been rising since pubs and restaurants opened for outdoor service in April, accelerating when indoor mixing was allowed in May. Latest statistics show just under 219,000 people in England received an alert in the week to June the 23rd. In all, almost 2.5 million have been pinged since the app was released last September. 4.4 people for every positive case using it. It has made a difference, though. Data shows 594,000 cases were prevented in just the first three months of it being used. Now, from August the 16th, people who have been double vaccinated, won't have to isolate, even if they've been in close contact with someone. That will help some businesses struggling with staff absences, but perhaps not pubs and restaurants. 60% of their staff are aged 16 to 34 and are unlikely to have had two doses by then. So just as they're allowed to open up to more eager customers, they could still struggle to serve them.